to my channel. So this video, we are going to be messing around with the Saharan palette by Juvia's Place. I think it was in my haul video. I think it was in my like latest haul video where I said this has been my absolute favorite palette for like the past couple of weeks. I've been using it non-stop almost every single day. So let me just show you. They busted one of the shadows on accident. Can you guess which one? It just has such a unique range of colors in here, like compared to any other palette that's on the market right now. I know a lot of their palettes are like similar to this and the fact that they've got just different colors, but this one is just phenomenal. Like this one, it's just wonderful. And like, you've got a beautiful transition shade right here. You can add this color to make it a little bit more vibrant. This one to make it a little bit more warm. This one to make it a little bit more black and smoky. And then you've got all these other shades that you can play around. I've created so many different looks with this palette. It is unreal how many different looks you can create using these colors. That's my two cents on it as far as the review goes. Um, this sucker right here is pretty great. I think it's only 28 bucks or something like that. And the colors are just wonderful and I keep opening up and like trying to show you but they really are like the only two shades that I have issues with are Lulu and Zoya. They are the kind of satin finish shades in here. They're not as pigmented as the rest of them but they're still pretty. I don't think that those two ruin the palette by any means. It's 28 bucks and the rest of these are just I'm gonna go ahead and put some makeup on my face because I sat down to film this video thinking I was gonna do like a whole makeup tutorial and then I was like hmm, no I'm just gonna do a review so I'll save the eyes for y'all, but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish my face and I'll be back with the swatches. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done my face. I know it looked a little funny with no eyeballs on and eyebrows, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and get into the swatches. As far as swatches go, I'm gonna start in the very first shade and work my way down. And the very first swatch that I do will be with a finger and then the second one will be with a brush. This is just a flat synthetic brush, what I usually use to like pack shadows on and everything. The matte shadows, you typically could use those in your crease to create different looks and everything. So I want to show you what it looks like with a blending brush, just kind of swoop back and forth on my hand as well. Now onto the actual swatch with my finger, I'm just going to go boop boop. I'll just go ahead and show you. Um, so I'll just do it like this, like that, that's a swatch. I'm not going to be getting in there, pushing into the product, rubbing it around two or three times and rubbing it back and forth on my hand. I'm going to do it just once and then one swap. That's it. No layering on top of each other.
has all the swatches for the colors and you can see that all of them swatched beautifully with a finger. A couple of them were kind of like a hit and miss with a brush. But with a synthetic brush you kind of just like pack the color onto the lid. You don't like swap it around. So like you know you can kind of see what kind of pigment it has. And then with the blending brush you could see what the four matte shades would do when you are just lightly putting it into your crease. Alright so now for a little eye tutorial. I really don't know what I'm going to do. I got a naughty. I got a naughty. Alright I'm going to bring you in to my eyeball so you can see. A just big fluffy blending brush. I'm going to be picking up the shade Katsina and tapping off the excess just a little bitty bit. And we're going to go into our crease and start buffing that around. Just like that. Okay, so next I'm going to be taking the shade Jamila on a little goat hair blending brush. It's a, it's a lot smaller and we're just going to take this and start applying that to our crease and kind of down onto the lid. Okay, on that same brush, I'm just going to pick up the shade Sokoto and pretty much put it in the same place. It's just going to brighten it up a little bit. A lot of bit. <laughs> now I'll be taking the shade Chad, which is just the black shade on a little pencil brush like this right here. And we are going to start kind of carving out a crease with this, but not really, like kind of putting it, um, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go ahead and clean it up later, but just start kind of deepening up an area like right over here. To where it looks something like this, and it might look a little scary right now, but we will fix it. Okay, so I'm going back in with that blending brush with no extra product, just whatever was left over on it, and just start kind of buffing out the black into the other shades. This look turned intense real quick. <laughs> okay, so I've gone back in with a little bit more of Jamila, and we're just going to be popping that right on the very top of that black, just to make it blend a little bit better. Okay, so while I'm still working with these colors, I'm just going to go ahead and pick up the shade Katsina and Jamila together on an even little finer pencil brush. And we're just going to run this on our lower lash line. And picking up just a little bitty bit of Sokoto and going in with it as well. Alright, so now I'm taking a little bit of my foundation and then I'm taking a flat brush. This is the one it's a little bit dirty. I use it to clean up my cut creases and everything all the time. What we are going to be doing is starting to clean this up. So I'm going to start packing this on and carving out a little cut crease. Okay, so they don't have to be perfect. Mine literally never are, but <laughs> we're just going to leave it like this. And let's see, I'm trying to think which color I'm going to go in with. All right, I think we're going to go in with the shade Wodabi, I think is how you pronounce it. Wodabi, Wodabi, I think it's Wodabi. It's the nice pretty gold right here. So we are just going to get our brush nice and packed with color. And we are going to go in and start packing this on all the area that we applied some concealer to. Okay, so I do kind of like the cut crease effect, but I'm going to go in and soften it just a little bit with that same blending brush that we've been using. And then I'm just going to go in and add some more of that Chad right here on the outer corner, and I kind of want to make that a lot darker. Okay, so sorry my mic wasn't working right here for some reason, um, but all I did was go in and clean up those edges and I made them really nice and precise with some concealer first. And then I went in with a makeup pop remover and just cleaned up the edges and made them nice and sharp. You can leave it smoky, however you want to do it. Yeah, you can see I'm just cleaning up those edges there. And then I went in with just some eyeliner, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper and some mascara. And then I think we're back on track. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the shade Amen. I'm Amen. I'm in. I don't know. It's this, this frosty white shade. And we're just gonna be popping that on the inner corner. You can see where I already did it just to see if it would look good. And I liked the way it looked. <laughs> and on this side as well. And then just a little bitty bit on our brow bone. Okay, so pretty much this is the finished look and I really love the way it came out. I did this look kinda sorta like this a couple weeks ago and I really liked it. That pop of gold is intense and I love it. I love the smokiness. I love the red in there and I think it's just really, really beautiful. These shadows are phenomenal. That's just my word, phenomenal. Hopefully, hopefully when I bring you in, it won't go all orangey looking. I don't know. This is what it's looking like. So, yep, that is pretty much the little eye tutorial that I had for this palette today. And, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed my swatches and everything about it. I really, really, really enjoy this palette. And you can see for yourself in the swatches how beautiful the shades were. There's just no shadows in one single palette like this. And you can create, like, different kind of looks. Does that make sense? Not the not your everyday kind of wear looks these are different but yet they're not bright and intense and super colorful they're still on the natural side but different i don't know if that makes any sense that's just the way i feel about it but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give me a like and subscribe and i hope you all have a great day and god bless <laughs> how are you doing doing a swatch video oh can i um, swatch this on your face yeah there's the code <laughs> Look at pigmentation, y'all. Pigmentation. <laughs> Are we done? It's my friend. It's my, you want to see my friend. dog? One of them. It's my best friend right here. My best. Oh, oh, somebody got jellies. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Vader. Hey, buddy. Hey, I know that you just love us so much.